Hello children, today you are going to learn how to talk about future. Children, you can use different structures to describe future events. The most common one is the simple future tense. We use simple future tense for simple predictions. In this structure, we use will plus the basic verb form. Let's look at an example. The children will go to the park at the weekend. In this sentence, we have used will plus the basic verb form of go. We don't know whether the children would go to the park or not at the weekend, but we are just predicting. Let's look at another sentence. The teacher will come soon. Here we have used simple future tense will and the basic verb form of come. Let's look at another example. I will play cricket with my friends in the afternoon. We don't know whether we would play cricket with our friends in the afternoon. We are just predicting. So here we have used will plus play. So this is the most common way of talking about future. But there are other different structures. You are going to learn about those things now. We can use the future continuous tense to talk about actions happening in the future. The future continuous tense, sometimes also referred to as the future progressive tense, is a verb tense that indicates that something will occur in the future and continue for an expected length of time. Future continuous tense, future progressive tense, Yoda Ganne, Anagati, Yamkisi, Kalekadi, Yamak Kirimat Patang Aragana, E. Yamkisi Kal Parasak Tula, Siduimin Pavati Nuanam, Emma Kriagana Kata Kirimatamai, Yoda Ganne. Future continuous tense is formed using the construction will plus be plus the present participle, the root verb plus ing. Let's look at an example now. Chanita will be studying for his exam the whole of next week. Main Kevene Chanita Yagi Vibhage Sandaha Labana Satya Purama Yudagan no Kieneka. Ito kota Rapana Satya Samaharita Sanduda Patangaragani it is a Dakwamaya Vibhage Sandha Sudanam Mino. Father will be going to America next Sunday. We will be having the term tests next week. So, we use future continuous tense to talk about an action in progress in the future. Children, do you know that we can use simple present tense to talk about future actions? Anagati di Sidhuina Kriyagana Katakaran Napita Vartamana Kale simple present tense Yodagana Puluan Kilwala than Nadan. We use simple present tense to talk about timetabled events. Where do we have timetables? Schools use timetables. And even train stations use timetables. Uh, if there uh, is an event, so the organizers use a timetable or a program. The train leaves at 10 o'clock. Here the train continues to leave at 10 o'clock and in the future also the train leaves the station at 10 o'clock. Mimo akhen kiyanne station nikeng dumbriyak pitatwena kiyala 10 o'clock kwalata. E vartamane wennat puluwang anagate di continue wennat puluwang. Our school starts at 7.30 a.m. That means our school starts at 7.30 a.m. every day in the future as well. The train leaves for Jaffna at 4 a.m. Every day the train leaves at the same time that is 4 a.m. And in the future also it will leave at the same time. 
the bus arrives at the bus stand at 6:30 p.m. that means every day the bus arrives at the bus stand at 6:30 p.m. and it will continue in the future as well so children you can understand that we can use simple present tense to talk about actions happening every day and also actions happening in the that is going to happen in the future as well we are going to talk about another structure uh, that we can use to talk about future events that is the construction be plus going to plus verb stem we use this structure to talk about the future based on present evidence kiyanne vartamane tiyena sakshi mata api anagathaya gana anawekiya prakasha karana let's look at this sentence you can see outside the sky is dark and there's wind moving around and you feel a breeze you feel cold so you can say it is going to rain samanya jeevithe api anaveki pala karana avastha godak thiyena e kiyanne apita labila thiyena addakim mata e avasthave labena addakim mata api anagathaya gana yamak kiyena den wa hitanna ahasa kalu karala thiyena hulaga khama gana enawa ඔයාලට සීතලක් දැනෙනවා. එතකොට ඔයා කියනවා වහි වගේ නේද? වහි වගේ. It is going to rain. So we have you we have used uh, is going to plus the verb stem to talk about or to predict about a future uh, happening. Let's look at another one. the tree is going to fall you can you can see some evidence maybe the tree is old and you can shake it sometimes if you shake it so you predict the tree is going to fall let's look at the other example the lamp is going to go off when the lamp is going to go off we can see the flame is fading so you can tell that the lamp is going to go off we use present continuous tense to talk about arrangements for events at a time later than now present continuous eda ganne pera sarasum deyak karala deyak gena katha karanna e kiyanne anagathe dina velawakadi කිරීම සඳහා පෙර සැරසුම් කළ දෙයක් ගැන කතා කරන්න තමයි present continuous tense පාවිච්චි කරන්නේ. ඉදිරියේදී කළ යුතු කටයුතු ගැන කතා කරන්නේ ඒ සඳහා පෙර සූදානම් වුණාට පසුවයි. We use the structure be verb plus the present participle. Let's look at an example. They are moving into a new house next week. That means they have already planned everything to go to a new house. So they are moving into a new house next week. Let's look at another example. I am writing an essay tonight. I have planned everything to write the essay tonight. My father is going to Colombo tomorrow. So father has already told you that he is going to Colombo tomorrow. You can also use present continuous tense to talk about future happenings or events especially for arrangements plans now let's look at the activity unit 5 activity 3 list five things you have planned to do tomorrow describe them to your partner using suitable sentence patterns from those given above children we have learned five structures those are will plus verb will be present participle or verb by ing form simple present tense 
be plus going to plus verb stream be verb plus present participle or verb by ing so now what you have to do is make one sentence for each structure so you can make five sentences take your workbook and turn to unit 5 activity 1 study the different ways of expressing future events and actions given in your textbook write five sentences describing your plans for next week children earlier in the pupils book activity 3 you had to write about the things you would do tomorrow in the workbook this activity asks you to write about your plans for next week so do this activity in your workbook what did we learn in this lesson children we learned to use simple future tense to talk about future actions and we also learned that we can use other structures like future continuous tense simple present tense present continuous tense b plus going to plus present participle to talk about future events children i hope you enjoyed this lesson have a nice day